Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous Redux version, normal difficulty. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 31. We're almost to Winter Sun. Almost. We're going to camp here because everybody's pretty tired. Could camp inside that space, but we're not going to. Night Watch, who's the best at it? Hmm. Okay, on the on the early version of the Night Watch, we need to have him. Ember's the other one. Who's gonna cook our dinner? She will. <laughs> and this little girl can scribe scrolls, but she can't. She doesn't have uh, the ability to, to do it. It's gonna be begin resting. This is something I worked on a little bit more for my for my core playthrough that I just started. Is making sure that the 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 skills are distributed across the party correctly and also that they match their stats like ember is a charisma character i clicked on her and then i opened this and it went to the first guy remember alcat you can fix that at any time super high charisma character it makes sense for her to do the charisma things like persuasion um, so that's that's there for her it, it makes sense for high wisdom characters to do perception if you can so all that jazz trying to do all that stuff anyway up here demon strikers we got demons coming in from this direction and we got demons coming in from down here i think the the three demons army is going to reach sooner but it doesn't really matter uh, the only thing i need to do is before we go in here and spend a considerable amount of time in there here our Vith has been appointed a squad command we need to come in here and check all these out the ziggurat has been constructed the arrival of the hell knights they are waiting an audience with the commander at Dresden. Witches, while exploring Sarkorian lands, a group of scouts stumbled upon a hidden settlement of exiles. Runaway witches and sorcerers practicing forbidden rituals. Criminals in their homeland. They did not welcome the commander's soldiers and made it clear that they did not want anyone meddling in their affairs. You could destroy the settlement. It's lawful. Adds 1,200 leadership points. You can establish trade finance points income increases by 10. Or seven Hellnoids are recruited at the commander's headquarters. This is a much more better outcome as it's going to last the duration of Act 3 and I think into Act 5. I would rather have the finance points. In fact, I strongly recommend any time you can get finance points, you just take them. The Hell Knights would be nice, but there were only seven of them, so... An army of thieves, a large group of suspicious individuals arrives at, at the gates of Dresden. They wish to join the crusade. Officers have recognized a number of thieves and murderers among their ranks, and it seems that the newcomers are only interested in spoils of war, should they be accepted. If we do, we get six rows and eight bandits. Again, remember, you're going to get an opportunity to get lots and lots and lots of different kinds of recruits, but you can only have five or six or seven in your army, depending on how big your army is allowed to be. So it makes sense to keep getting the same kinds of units and making your army stronger instead of having all these other little armies that just can't do anything. So I don't worry about these kinds of choice effects. Six rogues and eight bandits, I don't care. Send them away, you get diplomacy experience points. Arrest them, you get convicts recruited. Evil unlocks the death, redeems all decree. Six skeleton champions and eight skeleton sharpshooters are recruited at the commander's headquarters. Huh. Accept and take care of them, the Raising Heroes Decree. Six Paladins and eight Marksmen are recruited at the Commander's Headquarters. So this costs you 2,000 Leadership Points and you get Marksmen out of it. Hmm. Or you get this and it costs you required 10 Leadership? Really? So these are Decrees. And there are uh, repeatable decrees, and this one requires almost no leadership. So I'm going to grab that and see if I can't raise an army of undead crossbowmen. All right. Now we have a bunch of other decrees. So, we have a ton of stuff we can do here. Let's go back to relics first. Fate of the Faultless Daybreak, the First Retriever, the Symbol of Robe, the Hides and Tusks, and the Crest of the Fallen Knight. Now, there is a really cool Reddit thread out there where somebody went through and found out all these things, and I strongly recommend you, you go look at it and figure out which ones you want to do because a lot of these result in relic loot that is useless to you. What's kind of amazing about most of these is that they actually 
kind of suck. Like the faultless daybreak is just a junk. It's a piece of junk. Um, the first retriever, uh, it's junk. <laughs> the symbol of, of uh, enchanting the unholy symbol of Rovagug is kind of cool. It ends that you can end up with a pretty cool axe for it that I can give to my skeleton. Chill roars, hides, and tusks. Um, it give you a, a shield that does sonic reflection damage if you want to put that on your cleric. It's nice. It's all right. Crest of the Fallen Knight results in a really cool belt that does additional fire damage for somebody like Ember. It makes her weak to cold and something else, I think, but um, it's a really good belt for her. In addition to, like I said, the one she's got right now summons a shadow demon, but that other belt just lets her do more. More. Pillar of Skulls. There's the... So we can do that or the Pillar of Skulls. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to do the Sword of Valor first. Command. Distributing provisions. This is just a repeatable decree. Four days to solve. It improves your morale if your morale is low. So keep that in mind. Bell of Mercy. Development. Outpost of Bastion Expansion. Uh, we'll want to do that soon for one of these. Based on the Excel spreadsheet, which is based on that really cool guide. So that's it. That's everything there. Everything, all of our, all of our main, uh, what do they call these? These things up here. Stats. Your kingdom stats. They're all used up right now. So let's go in here. Winter sun. Lots to do here. Whole lot of stuff to do. It's also a little bit challenging. I may be a little under leveled for it right now. I'm not entirely sure. I know I'm under leveled for some parts of it, but fortunately you can come back uh, and you even have to come back later for something else. So, But now we're finally going to get to see something really cool. We're going to get to see exactly what the AC is of our character, our two-handed character, which will be really cool because we're going to buff. So knowledge arcana. The blight has consumed certain plants. Some magic is protecting the area and preventing decay from spreading. Ooh, so. Recall that her AC was 21 before. It's 19 now. So now we're going to tell her, hey, down here, there's that, 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 this. She's never going to fight defensively. She's going to have this and her rage, which will be really cool. She's probably never going to use that. She's never going to use stunning fist. So this is powerful stance. We want to leave that on. That's cool. I'm just going to maneuver some things around. But anyway, she's going to do this. So she's going to go from 19 with that to a whopping 26. Put that on. And look at her. She's got an armor class 30. Wow. And she's still got 15 to 20 times 3 critical multiplier. With 12, 21 damage. And her damage before was 14 to 23. I'd say that's a win. So we're going to buff up before we head down here. So we're going to add this. Oh yeah, he's got a line weapon, which we don't need anymore from him. So next time he rests, we can do that. We can grab, um, let's see, what's really interesting. Oh, inflict moderate wounds. Yeah. We need that to help keep the skeleton up. We don't need him. Oh, actually, you know what? We don't need them, quote unquote, need them. They're not that important, but... He should have a couple of these, just in case. All right. So what we'll do with him, let's do this. And he can do that. Excellent. So now he is sitting at 45, which is really great for an armor class. That's nice. And then him and her. The caster level that's equal to her Ar Arcanist level. If the Arcanist already, yeah. So what? It's what is? I've that. never used this. Her armor class is twenty-one. What'd she do if she does this? Twenty-three. It gets her two more points. Okay. Emba, give me heroism on her. 
All right, let's go. We got missing scouts camp. It's abandoned. No signs of a struggle anywhere. Well then. You, my friend. I need this from you. I always need that. I don't think there's anything down here that's going to pop fire or anything on us for a while. There may be something that does some acid. I can't remember. So we're going to do that. And he's going to give us a little bit of that. How long is this? One minute per level. Pop that on the old wolf there, will you? Princess. We're going to get some Smilodons or whatever they're called down here. Yeah, right there. Ferocious Smilodon. Why don't you... Actually, let's do this. Doink. Doink. And you can do this. Let's go. Oh, no, that's not quite what I wanted to do. That was nice. 48 skeletal executioner did that? Who did the 86? Uh, we know that's going to be Della, isn't it? Yep, 82. Oh, man. Nice, sister. And she did another 79. <laughs> I'm trying to... There it is. Yeah, she's just a beast. It's awesome. Oh, my gosh. Sister girl, you are going to crush things and you're going to be so much more sturdy, which is going to be fantastic. Oh, man. Makes me happy. I am the clearly, horse belonged to the Crusaders. Yes, but... I hear people yelling. Always having to check these. So here's classic case. Got a little bit of damage there, bucko. So I can tell him, hey, oh, he doesn't have those spells up yet. It's okay. Greater magic weapon. All right. Doink, doink. Where are we at? Oh, yeah, right there. Oh, man, I love some. Are you kidding me? I love some loot behind. Some loot there. we get it on the way out. Maybe. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Oh, there's some little tiny bit of loot. Okay. Well then. Let's go find out. I, mean, I got a I got a great dire bear that I can see. Because I'm a necromancer. The ghost of the giant bear growls at you furiously. You had a couple of mirror images go away, so you should probably just recast that. This thing is not gonna be pleasant, is it? Let's go. No, I want you. I want everybody else to go in there. You, turkey. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, now you're gonna have to fight him, aren't you? Oh. Oh, you smacked him. Okay. Alright, we know where that goes. I do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where's this go? No. We got some little bears. Little bears. The bear's body is icy, but it's hard to say what killed it. Oh no, little bears. That's the spirit of that bear. Ghost of the giant bear growls. Oh. Poor baby bears. Da 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 mama. We have someone brings flowers to the statue regularly. I am finished. The inscription in Halit, the language of old Sarkor, says, May you be forever joyful, Lady of the Sun. We're going to pick the locks on their stuff here and take their things. All right. And now we can... Uh-oh. Tainted sap. Who did that? A tainted sap? Uh-oh. That happened to our dog. Rats. Okay. What is this? Permanent ability score decrease. Darn it. 
just don't have a lot of options for getting rid of that stuff. I've got one restoration here. And then... I don't really have anything else that I can do with that. Because this is treat affliction. And it treats a disease. Or a poison character. But it won't take care of that ability score damage. So, and Of course you can try here to see if you have something to take care of it so if I want to do this this potion of lesser restoration might do something yeah it took some decks away all right well let me hang on to that for now what's this potion of cat's grace what happens if you use that hey you get a little bonus there don't you okay not too bad you're kind of I love the, the meow. Find the missing crusaders. They're here. Mutilated body undoubtedly belongs to one of the missing crusaders. His killers didn't even bother to strip him of his gear. Yeah, so that's not good, is it? Not good at all. Where are you guys going? You're going right through there. Okay. Somewhere up here. Oh, there's another one of those big trees. Okay, darling. You've you have a few of these spells. Let's go. Everybody. Hold on. Let's get what are, this is just a big jumble right here. Oh my goodness. Okay. You we're gonna move everybody behind him. That's the that's the key here. You guys move way in the back. Let's see. It's going to be me and you and this beast here. Right. Let's see if we can do that. Where did it wander off to? I won't let you hurt yep, my friends. go. I know you won't, Ember. So I want you to do this. Try to take it out with this. Oh, and it did tag him good, didn't it? 24 points. Go, Tower Shield Specialist. Critical hit for 50. Skeletal Executioner managed to pull that off? You kidding me? Way to go, buddy. Oh, yeah. I'm doing some damage there. Oh, we are. Oh, and Amber gets the finishing touch on him. Very nice. That was pretty cool. I like having that high AC guy there. Out in front. Okay, now things are going to get harder. Um, hmm. What do, I do here? These guys are neutral evil. And they're a plant. They have energy resistance fire, but there's nothing else we can do there. Exceptions are good, but we're around that. They have immunities to poison. Okay. All right. In that case, I'm going to have you do this protection from evil. Uh, these guys are, can be really, really hard to do. She's got, what, heroism? You don't have any heroism on yourself? Put one on yourself. I'm always ready. Hmm. You are going to cast this on yourself. Animal aspect greater. Gorilla on your boy here. Where's our, where's our doggy? Where's the dog? Where's the right there? Get that on him. And Ember, you're going to finally get a cast of regular fireball. Right there. Boom. Alright, go get him. Go get him, Hoss. Ember, launch this. That other one just wandered way off over there. Oop, there's some sneak attacks landing. Well, that's me again. Oh, gosh. This is going so well. Good job, Ember. Guys, come on. Stay in formation. I know you're not military pros yet, but... There it is. Go get it. Ember. Fire away. Oh, yeah. How much did he miss by? He rolled a 5 with 21 modifiers. Wow. And his attack result was a 26. So if he stays on my guy... Basically unhittable unless he. Oh, yeah. Ember. 
Sister girl rocking it with the fire. Oh yeah, there we go. Nope, you don't have to cast that spell now. Remember, you did it. The party did it. Okay, those things normally give me a lot of trouble, so I am really a full-on... My buddy Adrian here is, is kicking butt. I'm very happy with him. He is a valuable team member with that. Uh oh, so we have these clowns. Sarkarian, brute, outcast. Okay, Ember, you're gonna get another chance. Fire off a regular fireball. And then you can do this. Go. You, my friend, get up here. Heal. Oh my god, they're over here with their heads down. It's awesome. But you gotta you gotta get past these guys. Ember. Give me these turkeys. How could this happen? Oh no, she went down. There you go. She's up. Heal again, Ember. Can you clear, clear critical wounds on this person? Oh no! Their own bear there is. Dang it! Everybody, get that guy. Get him. Get those guys. Okay. Not exactly what I was hoping for there. So, Ember, pop, pop that off. All right. Darn. Everybody else is fine though. Oh, I should wait to do that. Okay. How many diamonds do I have? Raise dead. It cost me a diamond. Do it. I'm not going to have her running around the rest of this place with that death's door condition. Where is she at? She didn't heal that time. Where is she? She's right there. There we go. And I get a heal. My skeleton. Okay. I don't mind that. Uh, it cost me a diamond. That's 500 bucks. That's expensive, but... A bunch of stuff there. This should be an exit. Yes, it is. Standing stone. You do not recognize the runes carved on the stone. Okay. I don't think there's anything else over here, but we will check the map, because the map is the most reliable way to look for loot. Now, up here, so sister girl, sorry that their wolves took you out and I forgot to have her blood rage too, like a dummy. You don't want to go down there yet, pretty sure, I think you want to go this way. Can't be 100% sure. Oh, we left some loot back there. Or does this go to the crazy lady? Crazy. This will be okay. Strike. Oh no. You protect us from the lightning. You haste us because that sucks. And you heal thyself. I mean, not heal thyself, but... Oh my gosh. Yes, get this thing. Oh, stop spinning around. Okay. <coughs> There's another guy up here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't run out there in front of him. Don't you run out there in front of him. I need the head guy up here. Skeleton executioner, hold on a sec. There we go. Now we're in a much better position. Yeah, I saw that. It's coming down. Do you not, did you not get the protection? You didn't. Okay. Get up here. 
Gilmer. You're going to have to fire this off again, or I'm going to have to do it. Let's do this protection. Bismuth, you can't get up in there, and I know that's okay. That's okay, because Della just finished him off, so. We're protected. I tire of waiting. Well, that's okay, because we're going to get a camp pretty soon. All fun and games. Now, this person's crazy. Mix together Calamus and Sedge. Wait five years, five boons, and five days until the serpent ascends the staircase. Have patience, and you will at last behold as the fish soars into the clouds. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> the price of knowledge. Who am I? Mm, don't remember. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So, you're going to come back for her later. It's not important. So, down here in village... In the village land... Where... How do you actually get to... Over here? Dun, 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 dun. You got to go up there? No, because that's blocked off. Let's go over here. They made this map, so it's a little bit geographically uh, weird to get to to get you where you want to go, but it works. Yeah, you can see the cut down all these trees, and they built a palisade. And here we go, right there. So this is the question. I want to continue because we don't have any more healing. Um, no, we want to camp. Hi, guys. We see you up there. We're just going to camp right over here. That's all. Because at the end of this is going to be a little bit of a... Oh, my goodness. That's nasty weather. Yikes. At the end of our little introduction here. Failed to weaken the impact of the corruption. Okay. There we go. Now. We want to have. People. Buffed. Ember you should. Yeah, do that. You're going to do these buffs. You're going to buff thyself. Buff thyself. I'll make my own legend, he says. Well, maybe you will, and maybe you won't. Okay, let's give you Owl's Wisdom. Ego Splendor on her. There will be fire. I think there will be acid. And there may even be cold. <laughs> so <laughs> it's going to be a lot. And I'm not sure about the death one. So we'll try to do that before we actually go in. Because they're only one minute per level. What are you at? You've got. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this for now, because there is a chance to buff right before we go inside. Stop! Stop, you monster! You have some nerve, just showing up outside the walls of Winter Sun like this. Why are you glaring at me? Do you think you can avoid the wrath of the Lady of Shadow? Is that how guests are welcome in Winter Sun, Finian says? I remember you used to be famed as the most hospitable clan. People used to say visitors to Winter Sun never left empty-handed. What happened? There may be a war going on, but the spirits won't praise you for turning feral on folk. I am the Knight Commander of the Crusaders. I have just come from Dresden, and I want to talk to whoever's in charge here. You're a fool, demon, or else you take us for fools. Dresden fell, everyone knows that. It was captured by an army of your repulsive kin, and we're not going to let the same thing happen to us. Stop, children of Winter Sun. Stop! Do not raise your weapons. Let them pass. This creature is my guest. I shall keep an eye on him. 
None can harm the children of Winter Sun within my domain. What? Put this monster into our village? When we're the last place standing against the demons now that Dresden's fallen? You heard the Lady of the Sun, Dimwit. Let him pass. What's this demon going to do to us anyway? The Lady of the Sun has protected us all these years. And no abomination from the Abyss has ever captured Winter Sun. And it's not going to happen today either. Suddenly you hear a crash and screams from somewhere behind the buildings. Then comes the call of warriors to me. All right, warriors to you. It's going to be ugly. Except we don't have to fight right here. Just got a bunch of people running around. Mom, Dad, help. Monsters in the village. There's a troll. Troll in the dungeon. I think this is where we want to go in, is it? Yep. There's a giant Baylor there. No crowding here, good neighbors. No crowding. A babao demon holding a pretty flower basket flashes a predatory grin. Poor Dar is not himself. He lost his family in Dresden and has been drowning his grief in wine for a few days. He always picks fight when he's drunk, and you know what a stonemason's fists are like. He's killed the boy, cry voices from the crowd. Make way, neighbor. We'll put him in a cellar to sleep it off. The babao turns around and hisses at the culprit, a huge balor, at whose feet a young barbarian is lying, covered in blood. I'm so tired of you, neighbor Dar. Go home and stop ruining the fun for the rest of us. Oop. What's he doing? Hitting the poor flower girl. Dar, wake up. The Lady of Sun won't have things like this in their village. And here comes a dragon. A little dragon, but a dragon nonetheless. What the demon is going on here? A tall warrior with dark hair and gray eyes stands between the humans and the roaring Baylor. He looks the fiend right in the eye. Are you forgetting where you are? These lands are protected by the Lady of the Sun. Behave or I, Merhavak Grunhold, will throw you out of my town. You really think your beauty can do anything to me? If I wanted to, I could break her neck and yours and your little worms and the necks of every puny little human in the district. And then I'll pay a visit to the castle in the clouds and clear out every sunny little follower. I'm sick of this game anyway. I'm leaving for now. It's Derazant. Go about your business now. There's nothing to gawp at. The warrior bends down and picks up several of the flowers from the basket belonging to the Babao. He notices you and his expression hardens infinitesimally. Ah, a guest of my lady. I am the chief of the Winter Sun clan. You can take a look around if you wish, but you must visit me in the clan hall. It would be rude of you not to pay a proper visit to the master while you're in his house. Hmm... I came here to find out who killed my crusaders. Their bodies are lying at the shrine by the lake. The lady shrine is sacred to all the children of Winter Sun. If someone has desecrated it with murder, they will be punished. Demons are walking around your town like it's a home away from home. Merhavok's mouth twists like he's biting back a retort he desperately wants to deliver. In that case, shouldn't thanks be in order, demon? If not for the kindness of the lady, you would have been killed on the spot. You're changing the subject. I'm not used to talking in the middle of the town square. Come to my hall, honored guest. We can speak there. Fine. I will come to your dumb hall after I loot your town. All right. So the town is not what it seems, as you've no doubt picked up. And if we go up here, I'm actually going to, I'm actually just kind of going to go straight for the hall, I think. Because I'm kind of running short on my ability to record this episode. Real life has its intrusions. Oh, 
and there's Gesmera. A woman with a wealth of long dark hair stands by the statue, carefully touching the wood. Her long fingers slide along the smooth surface, searching for cracks and scratches. As you approach, the woman startles, tossing her head back, and you see her eye sockets are empty and scabbed over like old scars. Who's there? A stranger. I don't recognize your footsteps. I am the Knight Commander of the Crusaders. I have come from Dresden looking for my missing people. A visitor from the outside, and a crusader too. The woman exclaims enthusiastically, but then she seems to falter, quirking her head like she's trying to listen to something. Her fingers tremble nervously. What do you want to talk to me about? There's something strange going on in Winter Sun. Your fellow villagers call me a monster while they themselves converse with demons like it's nothing. Demons? Within these walls? That's not possible. The Lady of the Sun promised to protect us. Besides, the settlement has old rune stones that start to flicker when demons approach. Even if the monsters had tricked us, somehow, by disguising themselves, the stones would have warned us about the danger, and my people wouldn't be caught dead chatting to our sworn enemies. I've been looking for missing crusaders and found their bodies at the Shrine of the Lady of the Sun. Bodies at the Shrine? That is very strange. The children of Winter Sun know, are no enemies of the Crusaders, and no one would dare sully the Lady of the Sun's shrine with the blood of allies. Merhavok always keeps the shrine adorned with flowers for the Lady, along with his trophies, slain demons. The woman is silent for a while, gathering her thoughts. Listen, stranger, there is something odd happening in Winter Sun, it's true. The Lady of the Sun promised us protection, and demons truly have never attacked the settlement. But there are visitors that come here from the outside. And they come often, and they look like crusaders, merchants from Mendev, scholars from Absalom, or kin of Our Lady from her castle in the clouds. Some of them even live here long term, and every single one of them acts strangely. They talk to us like there's some great joke, and we're not in on it. And sometimes there are rougher types who do something wild. I've tried broaching the topic with people I trust, but they either don't believe me, or they're afraid to speak openly. Marhavak does not permit any doubts about him, or the Lady of the Sun, or her guests. And there's something else. Grief wells up in the woman's voice. Every few years, someone in the village goes mad. It's usually one of our guards or hunters, who go out on forays to kill demons. They either start weeping, begging for forgiveness, or they attack their neighbors. The clan doesn't turn its back on its children. That's why these mad people are only put outside the settlement's walls. But everyone now believes they're beyond helping. They are mad and angry at the entire world. A secret horror gnaws at the soul of Winterson, but I can't see it or find out what it is. And I don't know how to help you solve it, friend. All I can give you is this piece of advice. Check our rune stones. They should warn us about demons in the vicinity. And if they, do not, if they are not doing that, then there is some evil at work here. If you want answers quickly, go straight to Merhavak. He's the only person who has been able to... who has been to the castle in the clouds, and even he had a key to it hidden somewhere. He knows more than anyone else. But watch yourself. Merhavak is a mighty warrior, quick to anger, ruthless, and the limits of the Lady Sun's powers are entirely unknown. Thank you for talking to me. So now we know a little bit more. It's true. There's a, this is going to be... Epic battle coming up. I can't remember if there are any of these stones nearby that we can check that give us a clue before we go into the actual place. I'm sensing no, because that's it. Oh, but you want to go over here. There is a weapon way over here. There's something here. There is something there. The rune stone was smashed and the pieces carefully hidden. Alarm unsounded. Right over here. There's this. Very nice little piece. Reeking heart of the arcane. It's plus three finesse wielding and that is what I'm going to want to do with my brown fur transmuter is go change it so she can use rapiers. That way I only have to worry about kukris for my main character. 
Great Piers have a nice big old uh, crit range on him. Standing Stone. Text in Halit. I don't know if there's any more standing stones that we can look at. I'm not sure. Rune Stone. Rune, it's hard to tell just by looking at it if it's still working. Okay. Let's go have the big battle and we can call this the end of the episode. We're going to go up here. Buff to the gills. And hopefully walk in here and take care of business. All right, folks, what are we looking at here? We got 55 minutes left for that. That's great. Six minutes left for that. All right, she's going to be there. She's really going to be helpful here by trying to do this. And I want her to do this on the big, big dogs and stuff. Okay. What do you got? You don't have it on yet either. So she's going to do another one of these. I'm going to put this on you. Here it goes. That's on. Now, hmm. Let's see. Cast one of those on yourself. It's going to give you an extra two, which is nothing, but you're going to reduce person on that. Emba. You're going to make sure that everybody's got that. Yep. Put it on the skeleton even. It's fireball that we're using up, so I'm totally okay with that. Because we're not going to need fireballs. Do that. You are going to take this one. Punch that in. Large one on her. Do that on your... Oh, you didn't do that thing, did you? Darn it. It takes longer. I always forget it's full round for that spell to land. Put Magic Fang on your dog. I don't think we have to worry about Unbreakable Heart. I don't think anybody's going to do any charming stuff here, but we might as well put it on just in case. And this Death Ward. Death Ward, everybody. It's important. Including yourself. And her. You can cast that. That. This on her. She's going to do some damage. Okay, what else is left? Um, you, sister. Put one of those on. For those. This is just a refresh. Make sure we all have those on there because those are kind of critical. I don't think we need spell resistance. I'm going to make her invisible though. And I'm also going to blink her. Okay. Now you haste us. You're also going to blink yourself. Alright, let's go. Guys, get in there. <laughs> let's see if we can make... <laughs> let's see if we can do this. Mm, the mighty Merhavok sits on his day is covered in pelts. In one enormous hand, he's holding a single flower and his face wears a grim expression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chief, we brought the traitor. A tall female warrior drags a stumbling woman with empty eye sockets into the hall. We have several witnesses who said she was slandering the Lady of the Sun and her guests, and that she even urged her neighbors to spy on them. And me the axe. Merhavok's voice is grim. I have been very patient with you, Gesmera. You dared to dishonor the Lady of the Sun, our happiness and protection. You didn't repent. You only nursed your malice in secret. I see now that taking your eyes was not enough. This time I will take your hands. Finian says, what are you doing here, you black guard? Raising your hand against innocence. You've earned the ancestor's wrath for sure. It's a bad thing to raise your fists against the clan elder, but I really want to smack you on. 
These nice people are afraid. So much fear. But they're not just fighting against the ones who frighten them. They're punishing the weak and defenseless for their fear. Just like always. Just like always. Yeah. Hmm. Is this how justice is dispensed? In what your time has come. I'm just going to attack. Ah, stranger. It's good you came. Saves me from chasing after you all around Wintersun. Here in this hall, in this place of power, for me and my lady, I will kill you here and then go with my people to Dresden and hand it over to its rightful masters. Warriors of Wintersun attack. Yeah, yeah. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to stay here. Everybody. We're going to go like this. Now, you are not going to move there. You're going to cast this right there. You are going to cast yours right there. By the way, get ready to do... You... Yeah, yeah, you can't... You can't quit going there? Okay. We'll be doing that. Turn that on. Anyway, you're doing that. He's doing that. That's good. You have a chance to do a bunch of different things. Um, I probably should have put Aya Bodok on first. Let's get... What is this? Summon the Fallen. Yeah, summon that. You don't have any summons. Okay. I'm cool with that. Then what I'm going to do... Is have you protect him with a little invisibility. <laughs> Ember... You have a chance to summon some monster dogs, so do that. They're coming. Okay. You've done your thing. You can turn off. You've done yours. You can turn off. Kill this thing. What am I doing? Where am I? Yeah, here comes the ice. We knew that was coming. All right, you, my friend, what are you doing, Lord Gelmer? Kind of get up here to the side, because you're going to need to heal right away. Yep. Ember, you're still summoning. Okay. Where are you? Fiora, go. Me, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. You're free. Go all the way up there. Everybody else can be free, too. Doink. Doink. Yep, dogs in the front seat. Go. Skeleton. Skeleton, go crunch that thing. Dog. Can you take Marivok yet? Maybe. Let's see how this works. I need Gilmer. You're gonna heal. Great. Ember, where are you? I'm right there. Do this. Snake him right up the middle, sister. Right like that. Where are you at? Fiora, go after this, please. Me, what am I doing? Yeah, get up here. Oh yeah, that's got to be off, dude. I thought I turned all those things off. I've been clicking them off. What's going on? <laughs> I need you to come up here. And I need you to do Eye of Budak. Gilmer. I need you to keep healing one more time. Get her. What's she doing? I want her to go like this. Oh no, she's down. Amber. Okay, go here and critical pick her up. Same thing with you. Heal again. She was going to go down there and get that one. Where am I? I'm over there. I'm going to go after this guy. I thought I was. Oh, he's dead though. Okay, that's fine. There's a dragon here. Ember, what are you doing? Are you going to heal her? Yes. Okay, good. Who's left? 
Merhavak. He's on the ground. Get over here, Gilmer. Oh, yes. Attack of opportunity. Look at all those ones. He tried to get up, and I've got everybody set up for that. And they were just like, cha-chonk. My lady, don't leave me. That's a lot of attacks of opportunity. That was a bunch of them. That was kind of awesome. Okay. Anybody in here that we can loot from? Yes, please. All right, let's go get this guy. Let's go finish him off. We can loot everything else on the way out. We're coming for you, you punk. You can't escape. You will not escape me. Secret passage. Oh, but let's do this. First, sister girl. Everybody else is pretty healed up. That's nice. Okay. That's why I like buffs. Oh, and do you... You need to get this. You do that. Take the fatigue off of her. Alright. You guys need more of these. Yes. We're coming after it now. Out here. Great. There's loot, but you have to come back this way anyway, so it's not a big deal. Let's go. Right there. You sad sack. The wounded Merhavak is shivering as if from a fever. He tries to take the human skull from the plinth in front of the Lady of Sun statue, but his weakened grip spasms and the skull rolls toward you, stopping at your feet. The warrior watches it with stricken eyes, muttering, Key! Before turning to the statue, we have received the bone key. My lady, my love, forgive me. I failed you. I lost. Didn't even keep the key safe after he gave it to me. Come, protect our winter sun. But if you can't, take me away. Take me to your castle in the clouds. Maravok's prayer does not go unanswered. A shadow, unnaturally narrow and trembling, separates from the Lady of the Sun statue and floats above the floor. A delicate hand, or maybe a claw, reaches out and touches the slumped head of the dying warrior with a soft, almost tender gesture. Jerabeth says, Why are you mortals so fond of breaking other people's toys? Finian says, So, you're the rot that's festering in winter sun. You're a despicable beast, and you don't deserve any other name. My kinsmen, my neighbors have suffered because of you. Death would be too light a punishment for you, scum. She so the Lady of the Sun. Well, that is what they call me here, replies the insect-like shadow. But you may call me by another name, Jerabeth. What have you done to these people? I merely planted a few ideas in their heads. It is elegant in its simplicity. I make all the people of Wintersun see demons as humans, elves, and dwarves, and they see the real mortals as demons. They live in a topsy-turvy world where the lands of the world ruined are teeming with brave crusaders and where Dresden was recently captured by an army of hideous monsters from the abyss. If your firebrand, Queen Galfrey, were to show up here, the people would take her for one of Discari's spawn and try to slay her on the spot. And the children of Winterson already have so much blood on their hands. Every weary traveler has happened to discover this mortal oasis in the middle of the scarred lands of the world wound, who rushed with brimming hope towards its walls, died at the hands of the clan, and they all fervently believed that they were fighting demons. Hmm. I've heard enough. Oh, really? Then listen to the most important thing I want to say to you. Don't destroy my toy village. This place and its amusing people have become quite dear to me. Merhavak too. He loves me so passionately, so blindly. There are some things you cannot discover in the abyss, no matter how long you look. You probably want to open the poor barbarians' eyes to the truth, but you can't do that without my help. Even if you do, by some miracle, find a way to do it, the children of Wintersun will have to live with the knowledge of what they have done all these years. They will recall every murdered crusader 
and traveler that they plunge their spears into are burned on a ritual pyre. Many of them will not survive the truth you will inflict on them. The rest will be cut down by demons, for I am the only one protecting them from such a fate, even now. But I have a better solution. I will change the clan, so that from this day forth they will see true mortals and demons alike as human. I will make them believe that the Crusaders have won a final resounding victory, that peace now reigns in the world wound, and that all demons have been driven back to the abyss, every last one. Winterson will remain a peaceful oasis in the midst of chaos, neutral territory where neither Crusaders nor demons will cross swords in battle. I will get them to keep my wondrous domain, and your Crusaders will never perish here again. What do you say, Commander? I will not make a deal with the demon, and I will not leave the people of Wintersun under your control. All right, I'll do as you say. Outside, a clamor starts to swell. One, two, a dozen voices cry out in astonishment, then horror. No, not me, please rasps Merhavok, struggling to lift his head off the floor. Gathering his strength, he barks out more clearly. I don't need the truth. I don't want to lose you, my lady. I knew. A crazed smile warps the warrior's face. I guessed a long time ago that you weren't who you seemed to be, but you brought peace to my people and me, and I kept your secret as best I could. I stamped out any suspicions and the people who voice them, sometimes. I want to live in your light. I don't want to be without you. You cannot read the emotions on the creature's horrifying face, half hidden by shadows. If it answers Merhavok, it does so wordlessly, directly in his mind. After a moment of silence, you hear a voice in your head. Give him to me. Take him if you want. Thank you, Commander. You are a curious creature, and it is just possible that we may see each other again. I'm returning to the Ivory Sanctum, the castle in the clouds as they call it here. You have a key to my home, but will you find out how to use it? I will be expecting your visit. So you have the key and Gesmera arrives. She's gone. I can feel it. I feel like something's changed. I will tell the people what you did for us, Commander. You're going to see Jerabeth again. I usually kill that poor sod right there, but I want to see if he shows up in her ivory sanctum. So I decided not to axe him. And we all get levels, which is fantastic. We're going to take care of that at the start of the next episode. That was fantastic. That went really well. Nobody died. I didn't have to burn any diamonds resurrecting anybody. That made me happy. And the town has been purged of the lying people. All right, there's still a few things to do here inside as far as grabbing some loot and stuff, but this is a good stopping point for me. So I'm gonna say thank you to everybody watching. Thanks so much. As always, if you dig it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave questions and comments down below. I hope you're all having fun. I hope some people are playing along with this series, having a good time with Wrath of the Righteous. I do think it's a pretty great game. I've come around full circle on it. So pretty awesome. Thanks. See you next time.